Hello and welcome back to episode 5 of the Project Zomboid. This startup, the unnamed so far. Well, I mean, technically there's a name, it's a date, so. I mean, there's numbers for a name, numbers and dashes. But let's start up with our character, who I forgot the name of, I believe it's Gary? Gary would make sense. If you hear any background sounds, like a little bloop, that's that's another computer. Um, but just for a, a quick update, I live in San Diego now. So yes, I I have moved, and so videos I hope will continue as normal. I'm finding it a bit difficult with all the small people around. For like a month or so, I will be living in a house which is populated by small people. Which hopefully doesn't cause too many problems, but may cause a few. Anyway, so it's been a while since I've played. The last time I played was before I took my two-week break. So, I can't quite remember where I've been and where I haven't. But I'm going to check up the street, because I like going up the street. Right. I'm not sure what we need to do, but I'm sure finding an axe is probably one of the many things to do. Um, but if ooh, ooh, if we can, we can hopefully level up my sprinting. <laughs> uh, maybe one day. I've done it once in all my time playing, but it's a very slow thing to level up. Oh, I believe I'm using a crowbar, even though it looks exactly like a baseball bat. You know what they say. If it looks the same, it is the same. <gasps> no way, I remember where we were going. Okay, so I remember now. Before, like way, way a while ago, I looked up uh, where the closest uh, like warehouse was. And I found out it's actually relatively close. I mean, it's not super close, but I mean, it ain't far away either. It's just up the street a bit. I've kind of forgotten exactly where it is, but I know if I follow the street and take a right at some point, that should lead me directly to a nice big warehouse, where hopefully I can find an axe and possibly some other things. Maybe some paint. Maybe I'll do some painting. I do have two big, yes, I have two big hiking bags. Jump the fence. I don't want to fight too many zombies. You know, if I can avoid them, I will. You're a strange man. You have seen me. And I hate it when you don't fall over. Okay. If I do find an axe on the way, I will probably still go to it. Just because, I mean. I'm really slow! <laughs> oh, I'm so slow. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Mmm. I mean, on a scale from 1 to 10 on how bad this is going, this, this isn't going too bad. I mean, I'd rather not be chased by zombies right now, but... I mean, oh, there's so many. Okay, I'm going to whip around these, and through here, and over this fence, and through here. Because if you can cut their line of sight, they'll m more likely forget about you. Hopefully I've forgotten. Oh, there's a man in the trees. But if I am correct, just up here should be the warehouse. Yeah. I was right. I almost forgot that I was going here. But yes, this has lots of crates in it. Where I can have to find like, like sledgehammers and axes and saws. And just kind of everything I need. Uh, this will definitely be useful in the future. And that is locked. Nice, nice. I've never actually been to a warehouse before. I've always just found everything I needed from houses and zombies. Now I probably won't try and make this my house. Though this would be a nice place to live. Just too many zombies, you know. Rolling pin? I believe that's a weapon. Oh! I just smashed the window. 
which should have looked nice. Nope, no zombies. Cool. Mainly, I'm worried it's no longer a secure area. Better see if I can find any food in here. All the food I could ever want right here. This is nice. Ice cream. Meat. And little kids. If I stop talking. Yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. Or maybe not. Who knows. I probably will. Stop recording. But maybe not. No, maybe not. Careful. Ooh. What's that? So, you know, little kids may interfere with recordings. Okay, why isn't this working? Okay, there we go. I found it. I think I already had a saw. I'm not too sure. But either way, shotgun shells will be very useful. Oh, thank you. In case you're wondering, the person talking, her name is Ilya, she is four, and she is playing with the mouse. Okay, I think the control key got stuck. Yeah, there we go. That's oh, it was a right click. Okay, that's what went wrong. Now she's disappearing. I want to open that window so that they don't smash the window. You still just gonna smash the window? You're an idiot. Idiot zombie. You deserve to die, zombie. I will close the window. Oh, did you see me? Okay. So you always wanna destroy, you know, zombies around you so they don't start smashing on windows, breaking in two windows, breaking down doors, that sort of thing. But here we should find nails, which are useful. Buckets are useful for watering plants. So you still have ever found for them. Uh, another saw. Why not? Let's just take all the saws. Yes, I apologize if there's lots of background. <gasps> An axe! Now we won't use that as a weapon because we want to save it for usefulness. But what we can do is now we can chop down trees and cut them up. Trowel. I believe trowels are used for planting seeds, if I'm correct. Crowbar seems to be the best weapon I have right now. I don't know what wire does or anything like that, but I'm sure it has some use. Another bucket, why not? Nails, sure. Uh, I could take some cabbage. I've heard that they grow the fastest. So, And potatoes apparently last the longest, so, you know. Oh, watering can. I, th I think that would be great for watering plants. Oh, I'm peckish? Well, let's eat some of this food. I've got everything off. What is? Okay, let's eat this food. And then I guess I should probably be heading back home soon. I mean... I don't know. Shotgun? Well, that's worth it. I know, it's, it's, getting s it's not late. It's only one in the afternoon. I, mean, I don't know how how hard it is going to get back home. I mean, who knows what I could be up against. I got the things I came for. And extra. There's a lot of shotgun shells here. This would be good if I ever want to suicide and go out with a bang. Mm. Duct tape. Oh, I might pass up on something. Duct tape's good. It, helps you it lets you repair items such as, I don't know, an axe. Because axes are quite rare. It'd be it's oh sledgehammer. Uh, is that full? Okay, let's put it here. And now we should probably be getting back. I'm, I'm, ah, I've still got more carry weight. I know. I think I feel like I'm getting really greedy. I keep saying I should go back, but I'm not. But this is so nice. Look at all these nails. I can do construction for days. Planks. Planks are too heavy to ever bother carrying. I mean, they are pure weight. Very much. Uh, 
Uh, Ilya is being a Ilya. She's aggressive. She's murderous. A hammer. Actually, that's something I need for construction. I forgot about that. And some nails. Oh, I should really go back. I should go back home. This is too good to pass up. Wood glue also helps you lets you repair things like an axe. I'm gonna have to come here another day. Unless I want to sleep here, I guess. Technically, I could go to sleep here. It's not secure because that window is broken. But if there's like a chair upstairs, I wait. Can I go up to the roof here? I could. I could sleep on the roof. I mean, I guess I could sleep on the roof. Yeah, let's let's keep collecting things, and I'll spend the night on the roof. I don't know if you sleep well on the roof, but it'll be worth a try. But yeah, it might not be a good night's sleep, but it would mean I don't have to worry about getting home. I wanted to leave. I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get back. I didn't kill any zombies on the way up here, really. So they're probably all waiting for me. Hey, I think that's a new icon. I recognize it. Actually, I'm almost out of room, so... Let's take the hammer. Hammers are useful. I'm not sure if they lose durability when you use them. But in case they do. Uh, yes. I apologize for any voices, but... Hey. Okay, let's come over here. Check out these boxes. Shotgun shells. I mean, I don't use guns very often in this game, but... Uh, it's hard to turn it down. Yeah, that looks like I'm full... Another axe. Why not put the axe in there? Yeah, but. I'm recording something in there. Anyway, so I'm going to eat all the food. Wait, 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 did I lose some, I lost some weight, maybe I can carry the axe now, no I still can't carry it, if I put a book in there, I just, I just want to carry the axe man, why not, I'm carrying, I'm packing heat and apples, I guess, oh I'm going to drop that paint, that's really heavy paint, and I don't actually plan on painting anytime soon. So let's drop the blue paint. Let's pick up the axe. So nails. Yeah, no use for planks yet, but I'll probably go back home and start using it. Fertilizer, I don't know if it's. I don't, I don't. I mean, I used it in the past. It makes my potatoes grow faster, but not that much faster. I didn't really notice much of a difference. But either way. Oh, there's a room in here. No zombies? Zombies? Full water bottle from the toilet. Yep. I love drinking from toilets. Toilets are the best kind of water. Toilet water. Delicious. Okay, to the roof we go. The reason I'm sleeping on the roof and not down there. I mean, zombies could see me and climb in. Zombies could see me there. And even if zombies saw me on the roof, they have to break down two doors at least to get to me. Yeah, I'll sleep right on the edge. So even, I mean, realistically, they couldn't see over the wall. I mean, they couldn't see over the wall there either. I don't know. I think I think I'm going to call it a quiz here. So yes. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. It will be slightly different, and possibly future episodes will also be slightly different. But either way, that's all from me. That's all from Gary. 
And now Gary is getting drowsy. Oh, come on. Come on, Gary. Okay. Nighty night all. Oh, yes, I can't sleep. Farewell.